Hello youth and your families. I just thought I'd just do a little um, video about what we have coming up, Youth Sunday. And these times are so kind of strange where we are feeling a little bit unsafe. The weather is getting too cold for us to meet outside. Well, chilly for us to meet outside. And our planning is taking place in our homes. So parents, if you're listening, I'm gonna need your help for this Youth Sunday. Traditionally, our Youth Sunday has been done in person. There was no in-person and recorded worship, um, you know, a few years ago or um, 12 months ago. So this is our new normal. So first, what I need to know is who is able to do the recorded version or and the in-person worship. So if you're comfortable doing it in person, that is great. We will tweak it how we need it. If you are not, that is totally fine too. We hope to have all of you participating in our recorded worship, um, however that might look. And if none of you are comfortable coming into this into our worship space, um, that's fine too. We understand and we don't want anybody to feel unsafe. Um, so we just want to make sure that that is clear. But if you are, just let me know. So because we don't have a whole lot of time and because we cannot gather, we, we'll talk about doing some Zoom meetings um, in a little bit, but I have found this, um, it's called a service of healing and wholeness. So if you think about November 22nd is our Youth Sunday, if you think about where we will be in our country, um, in our season, it is going to really demand us to find healing and wholeness. No matter how the election comes out, no matter what we have planned for Thanksgiving or Christmas or holidays, this season will be different. And so I think because of the virus, because of everything that we've gone through, what we still have to go through, I think doing a service on healing and wholeness will do us good and we'll do our congregation and those who um, watch our recorded services, we'll do them a really good service because, um, like I said, we just, we don't know what it's going to be on November 22nd. Um, and again, no matter how the election goes, there we are going, our country needs to heal. And so our people need to heal. And I think this will be great. So it's by um, a group called A Sanctified Art, A Sanctified Art art. Um, so if you want to just do some research on them, they have some really great liturgies and things um, out there that are perfect, I think, for what we really need. And so I found this one, and it's um, it's got art with it. It's got um, different ways of saying, like kind of like we did last year, different ways of saying scripture, um, using a community, and I think it will be really easy to do recorded and sending those clips in and having Rachel put them together. So I'm interested in finding out who's available, hopefully all of you, um, and then who's available in person and who's available recorded, and hopefully everybody is, is available recorded. Um, and if it's not, if we don't have enough um, youth for the in-person, don't worry about it. November 22nd will just be different inside the worship space if it's open. So we're not worried about in person. If we have enough, we'll, we'll tweak it and we'll work it how we need to. Um, so I need to know who's going to be there. I need to know who's willing to read, record, um, maybe think outside the box about how we record. And, um, you know, it's a youth Sunday, but this might be youth family Sunday because if there's scripture that is... Um, you know, with readers A, B, or C, maybe it's, maybe you have two siblings in your family and mom helps out, or two, two youth siblings and maybe younger sister helps out because there's three voices or whatever it is. So um, this may include some, um, not just youth, maybe include some parents and children as well. Um, there's some, there is some pieces that require a little bit of art work. I mean, very basic artwork. Um, so if you're interested in doing that, um, you know, let me know. We can include music. So if you are a musical student and you want to play something, um, you know, we could work with Rachel. Maybe on getting some things together. I don't know. Um, you know, I know Eric has been really great with putting some choral pieces together. I don't know 
don't know how any of that works, so I'm not speculating on how easy or hard it is. In my world, it's going to be hard. Um, but anyway, if you're a music person, we would love to have you share a piece of music. Um, traditionally, before last year, I think our seniors gave their senior speech. Um, and I don't know what that will look like for any of our seniors. So we changed that last year because it was just kind of hard for them to um, say where their senior, you know, where they're going to go. So we do want to showcase and highlight our seniors. So if you are a senior, I will be um, contacting you about some things that, um, you know, maybe ways that you can get involved with our youth, our youth led worship. Um, also, if you have a favorite hymn that you want to see be in there, if you've watched our recorded services, you see that there is one hymn. That doesn't mean we couldn't have two hymns. Um, you know, we can work with Eric, and if there's a favorite piece that you want him to play, or we'll include you in those pieces, piano, clarinets, trombones, trumpets, what else do we have? Cellos, violins, I'm probably missing something, guitars, flutes, oboes, saxophones. I'm certain there's more, but um, if you want to just play a simple piece, um, we can put that in there somewhere. Um, so that was a lot to say. I need to know who's going to be there. I need, who, I need to know who's willing to read and record themselves. I need to know if you want to play a musical instrument or do something um, recorded. And I need to, I, the seniors, you will hear from me um, about getting something in there. So please respond to me by the end of this week. I know it's Wednesday, but please respond to me by the end of this week if you can and just let me know those four things. Um, and then I will, um, and if you have other, you know, there's other things in the email about different creative ways to put your favorite Bible story or whatever, some stop action things, whatever. Um, so we just really want to get this going. We want it to be showcase you um, and your creativity and your youthfulness and your wholeness and your healing powers that you youth have. So anyway, um, we will also do a Zoom meeting together um, probably next week to talk a little bit more and divvy out some pieces and parts and things like that so we can get things rolling. So have a great day.